Lent and forgiveness. Another good Lenten suggestion would be to look at your social relationships and try to reconcile. The Holy Father Pope Francis speaks about reconciliation and the joy of the gospel. See if maybe you have to reconcile with some some family members. Maybe you have to reconcile with your husband or your wife. Maybe with your son or daughter. Maybe brothers and sisters have to reconcile. Then you know, go outside of your family circle and maybe at work or maybe at school. Maybe there's someone that you have a resentment against. Now is the time to try to make peace. Jesus himself says that if you are bringing your gift to the altar and you recognize that someone has something against you, first leave your gift at the foot of the altar, go and be reconciled to the per this person, and then come back to offer your gift. This also refers to Mass. If there is hatred, resentment, rancor, and you're going in to Mass with that, that, so to speak, hatred, bitter resentment in your heart, it's good to try to resolve it. And try to resolve it as soon as possible. And then there might be someone in the past that hurt you. If it's impossible to reconcile with that person because the person is far away, or maybe even the person has died, it still would be a very noble enterprise and task to try to forgive this person. In other words, what we're talking about here is the importance of mercy. In the Diary of St. Faustina, Jesus encourages Faustina as well as the whole world to do some, some work of mercy on a daily basis. And there are three categories that are suggested. A, a deed of mercy. You can look at the corporal works of mercy if you like. Some word of mercy, word of kindness. But also to pray for someone. So the central message we're giving today is that of trying to be reconciled. Reconciled at home, reconciled in your work environment, reconciled with all. Remember the first word that Jesus said in the cross was, Father, forgive them because they do not know what they're doing.